What's up guys? I'm gonna unbox and review this Wi-Fi 6 travel router by ASUS. This is the RT-AX57 GO with a speed rating of AX3000 and it is a dual band unit which means it has a 2.4 and a 5 gigahertz band. Now this, the main purpose of this is portability. However, just as a heads up, you can use this as a regular router at home or if you have an existing ASUS router that supports AI mesh, you can actually extend that network as well because this also supports AI mesh. But the main purpose of this, if you weren't using it for that, and I guess you could use it for that and then take it out and when you're traveling, take it with you. So there are a few use cases, but you can basically tether it with your phone if you wanted to, or you can use it to connect to a public Wi-Fi area. So let's say if you were going somewhere traveling, you were staying at a hotel, for instance, you could actually connect this to the Wi-Fi hotel and then secure your own connection. Taking a closer look, this is the router. It's very portable and it doesn't weigh much at all. We have an LED right here. We have a slider switch, which can be configured with a VPN, assuming you set that up. We have a USB 3.0 port. We have a factory reset and it is powered via USB-C, which is awesome because that means if I have a strong enough power bank, I can actually power it via my power bank, making it very portable because it does not have a built-in battery. We have the WAN port and we have the LAN port right there. And it is wall mountable. As you guys can see, there are some vents on the bottom. So it comes with this microfiber style sleeve, which is really nice. And there is a separation right here. So you could put the power on this side and the router on this side. Again, there is a separation right there sewn in, which is really nice. And we have the power plug. So it is a standard USB-C output is nine volts at two amps. And it is 100 to 240 volts in case you guys are wondering. We have an ethernet cable. It doesn't tell us if it's cat 5 e cat 6 or something else, but it, I'm assuming it's probably cat 5 e because the ports are gigabit ports on there. And then we have a little stand. So if I wanted to rest the router, I could basically just pop it like that and I should be good to go. So I've had a chance to play with the RTX 57 GO and it's a very good travel router. And I really love the fact that it's powered via USB-C because I can actually power it via my power bank. Uh, so as long as your power bank has enough juice, because this requires nine volts, two amps. So as long as this thing has enough juice, you can actually power it via that. In case you go somewhere like a coffee shop, you're not next to a wall outlet and you want to use this thing, well, I can power it via my power bank, which is really, really awesome. Um, the other cool thing about this ASUS, just in, in general, is you have a I was gonna say a thousand options, but way more than a thousand options. You have so many options with this thing. You can customize a lot of stuff. You can also use it as a AI mesh extender. Um, so let's say if I had my Beastie Asus GTB98 Pro running, I can actually extend that network by connecting to that network via AI mesh. Um, I can even use this as my main router if I wanted to. Now, don't expect it to be super powerful as my main router, but I can do that. Um, and you know, obviously USB tethering, you can also connect to public Wi-Fi's and stuff like that and cryptos and a set of VPN and stuff like that. So there's a lot of, lot of things you can do with this. Now I have my laptop hooked up to this via ethernet, as you guys could see right here, uh, on my uh, laptop, my Wi-Fi is turned off. Uh, now I could have it on and connect to this, but I want to demonstrate that via ethernet, you actually get better speeds. Uh, and then I have my phones right here. And I can basically, I'll just do a quick speed test um, with one of these, just so you guys get an idea of how fast it is. So we'll start off with my computer's speed test. Now, while the speed test is running, I have uh, my main router and my main router is kind of acting as a public Wi-Fi. So let's just pretend I was at a coffee shop or a hotel room or something like that. And this thing is actually connected to my public, not my, to the public Wi-Fi, uh, and it itself is emitting its own signal. And as you guys can see, we're getting some solid, solid speeds. I am doing the screen recording, but just so you guys can see, that's what the screen is right there. Um, so I'm actually getting like legit speeds basically uh, with this thing. So I got 846 down, which is very fast, and 936 up. The router that I'm currently testing with that router can support up to 2.5 gigabit speeds and my internet speeds are actually five gigabits per second upload and download. So my router that I'm testing right now is actually capping those speeds to 2.5 and 
via Wi-Fi, this one is connected via Wi-Fi. It's not connected via Ethernet. Um, as you guys could see, it's not connected via Ethernet to um, my network. Otherwise, I would actually get even better speeds than that. Now, if I do a Wi-Fi test, let's actually close this. Let me show you guys. Um, so, so I am connected to Go Travel and Go Travel. I don't know if you guys could get if there it is. I'm connected to Go Travel. Go Travel is the Wi-Fi SSID for this router, and I'm going to do a speed test. And I'm going to click Go. It's not going to be as fast. So I'll just put it there just so you guys could see. Um, it's not going to be as fast uh, because. Now this is a Wi-Fi jump to this Wi-Fi, um, and basically this this ASUS is actually connected to my other router via Wi-Fi. Um, so obviously it's not going to be as fast. Um, so as you guys could see, it just finished. What do we get? Okay, we got 443 down and 351 up. So not quite as fast as um, obviously if connected via Ethernet, I actually got better speeds. Um, yeah, so that's kind of what you could expect. Now, what's the advantage of this while we kind of go over some of these settings? Well, the advantage of this is you can actually, if you go to a public Wi-Fi and you connect to the public Wi-Fi, usually there's a disclosure, whether you're at a hotel or a coffee shop or something like that. And usually the disclosure says something along the lines of, uh, again, I'm paraphrasing or whatever, but just in general, usually says, you know, do this at your own risk, it's potentially unsafe and stuff like that. And and because if you're connecting to a public Wi-Fi, other uh, people are connected to that Wi-Fi as well, well, you're on the same network. So, you know, devices can have access to each other. So potentially someone can hack in much more easily than if you weren't on that. Now, the advantage of this is if you connect it to the public Wi-Fi, let's say you go to the coffee shop, if this connects to the public Wi-Fi and your device is connected to this, well, now there's a level of protection that wasn't there before. And on top of that, I have my VPN right here. Um, so I use ExpressVPN, which is separate. That actually requires a separate subscription. But I set it up on this ASUS router. And if I initialize this, if I basically enable it, everything that goes through this router will actually go through the VPN. Now, this will also slow down everything. So if I do another speed test, it's actually going to be much slower because everything's being encrypted. It's going through some other channels through a different IP address. And it goes from my IP address to another place to that gets a completely different other IP address, that, which is probably shared. And there's a whole bunch of other stuff that's happening. And pretty much everything's encrypted. So now all my devices that are going through this are as, I want to say, as safe as can be from a consumer level standpoint. So this is actually already very, very, very secure. Now, nothing is going to be 100%, you know, 100-100% uh, proof, but I mean, this thing is, this thing is already insanely secure. So, uh, and then the VPN, the VPN speeds really just depends on the VPN if they're busy, um, you know, how many people are using it and stuff like that, what, how fast the network is, and depending on which VPN you're using as well. So speeds can vary quite a bit, but I wanted to demonstrate that as well, just so you guys could see that when you go through VPN, expect the speeds to go slower. Now this is true, whether it's this router or some other router, you could take the world's most powerful router, you enable VPN, it, it will slow down. Um, so it's just something that happens. Okay. So... Let's go to network Mac. Uh, so you can see it's connected to a five gigahertz band um, that's connected to, again, my main Wi-Fi, which is kind of acting as a public Wi-Fi. Um, so we, we could see we have three clients that are connected to this, which are pretty much the phones um, and this laptop. Uh, you could set it up in AI mesh if you wanted to. It's not something that um, I need to do right now, but it is an option. For guest network, um, one thing that I noticed with ASUS that they recently did is typically when you're making a guest network, um, it's just like, okay, you have your main network and then you have a guest network. Well, with this one, just like with the ASUS GTB98 Pro and the RTB96U uh, and probably some other ASUS as, as well, um, you can actually make different levels of guest network. So you can have like a kid's network, um, 
where it's it's like it's only on during certain times of the day. You can make a generic one. You can make a portal. You can make a VPN network. You can make an IoT network. So there's essentially they're kind of all like VLANs, virtual LANs, essentially. Um, that's kind of dedicated for a purpose. You can even make a customized one. But let's just click on the kids network. So I can actually make a separate SSID. And let's just say I have my kids' devices connected to that one. And it, this is the online schedule. So if they're outside of these hours, um, the internet won't work. So there are some things you could do with that, which is really, really cool. Uh, and then th there's basically a lot of control with that. And then you get AI protection. Um, so there is some site blocking. There's some other prevention and stuff. So even without VPN, there's already some protections. So I can enable that if I wanted to. Um, you get QoS. So if you want to do, you know, depending on if you want to give something priority or not, you could do that. Um, wireless. So let's go over wireless. So and and this interface, it's very very similar. Let me maximize this. It's very very similar to um, pretty much every ASUS router. Now there are some differences and stuff. So, uh, but the general layout is very very similar to it. So you could see my network name is Go Travel. Um, the password I just set, I just did Go Travel, just to make it really really simple. So I won't have to um, block out as much information. So. I just, that was just a password. It's, that's not a great password, uh, but just for demonstration purposes and stuff. Uh, and then I did go into channel bandwidth and I enabled the 160 megahertz, which is something very, very useful. Um, let me actually make this a little bit larger so you guys could see it a little bit easier. But yeah, I basically enabled the 160 megahertz. Uh, and you, you can, if you, if you want to separate the 2.4 and 5 gig, you can actually do that. So you can have a separate 2.4 and a separate 5 gig. Um, SSID for those of you guys that are interested um, and then there's a lot of other stuff you can put a Mac filter too where only certain devices are allowed to connect where you have to specify the Mac filter otherwise they can't connect to the network um, and you know the WAN is basically the internet port of it um, VPN which I set up my own VPN with ExpressVPN. I went to the ExpressVPN's website. So different VPNs have different options. So you would need to go to the VPN that you have to set it up. Um, uh, firewalls and stuff, which are typically standard on most, um, most routers, basically. Pretty much any router I could think of. So there's a lot of options. Um, within the phone, you would use the same ASUS router app. So typically when I'm reviewing ASUS routers, I use the ASUS router app. Uh, this is what you could pretty much use for that and you would have similar options now the website does have additional options uh, But on the phone you can use the ASUS router app, so you don't need a computer To set this up you can actually just set it up with your phone um, As well, so there's there's that option as well So you, there's I mean there's so many so many options. It's not even funny um, and then these are the different modes that it supports. So I'm currently in the WISP mode, uh, which is kind of the, the public network that you connect to essentially. Uh, you could set up an AI mesh, you could do a media bridge, you could do a repeater, you could do access point mode, um, you could do wireless router mode. You can, like I said, you can even use this as your main router, hook it up to the WAN port. And then when, you're, when you want to go somewhere, you could just unplug it, take it with you, and you should be good to go. When you first get it, this is where you would go. Um, so you would go to asusrouter.com for, for a computer that's hooked up to it. Or you could go to 192.168.72.1, which happens to be the default gateway for this. So I could do create a new network. And what I could do this time is on my phone, I can, I can enable my mobile hotspot. And I will... Let's do that. Okay, so I enabled my mobile hotspot on my phone. And um, this is going to search. So this is kind of what it looks like. And this is my hotspot, S24 Ultra. So I'm going to click on that. Normally, I would connect to Earth, uh, the 5 gigahertz band. Uh, so I'm going to go here. I'm going to type in my password for my device. So I'm going to click Next. So don't expect the internet to be much faster because now instead of connecting to my uh, main router which is giving a much faster internet, it's going to connect to this which is going to be much slower. 
Uh, and then when you set that up, then it says like, oh, okay, what do you want your SSID to be? So what do you want this to emit? So again, I just said go travel and uh, my password just temporarily is just go travel. Like again, I could separate the 2.4 and 5. I click apply uh, and then it, it pretty much does its thing. It takes like a minute or two. Few moments later. So now that I connected to my phone, let's do another speed test. So I'll click go. Uh, so now it's connected to my phone's Wi-Fi. Uh, obviously, it's not going to be as fast as if I was connected to my main Wi-Fi. Uh, but this is just to give you guys, again, uh, a different point of view of, yeah, I can wirelessly connect to my phone's Wi-Fi hotspot, uh, do a speed test this way, and should, should still be good to go. So now, technically, my computer that's hooked up via Ethernet, again, my Wi-Fi is off on my computer, as you guys could see right here. Um, it's now going through the router and the router is connected to my phone's Wi-Fi um, and it's I'm actually using the internet and this is more than fast enough if I wanted to watch a movie or anything like that on the go these are actually some really good speeds uh, but again speeds will vary you know drastically by whichever Wi-Fi you're connecting to so overall this router is very very vers versatile I, I mean I think that's really the biggest thing with this um, is that you have there are so many ways you can use this thing. Uh, it's easy to take with you. The stand is really nice. Uh, you can use it as my main, as your main router if you wanted to. You don't have to. Um, so it, it really offers a lot, especially considering the price. I think Asus did a really good job uh, with this router. So if you guys, you know, have any questions or comments or anything like that, please leave in the comment section as well. And as always, smash that subscribe button and I'll catch you guys in the next one.